Armando Hasurungan Biology and Medicine videos, please make sure to subscribe. Join the forum and group for the latest videos. Please visit Facebook Armando Hasurungan and here you can also like. Please ask questions, answer some questions and post some interesting things including artworks. It would be greatly appreciated. And you can also change the quality settings to the highest one for better graphics. In this video, we're going to look at an introduction to the muscular system. Our muscular system obviously can, uh, is our muscles. And muscles are important in keeping the homeostatic conditions of our body. It's particularly important um, for us for when we breathe and also for movement, such as lifting weights, for example, or lifting anything. It's also important because it gives us heat and provides us with balance and also stabilizing our joints. Now there are three types of muscles. There is the skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. We'll begin with looking at skeletal muscle just briefly. Now skeletal muscle is essentially the muscle uh, which, which we require when we move and when we lift things up. A skeletal muscle, muscle differs to the other type of muscles because they usually connect to the ends of bones, such as the thigh bone, for example, and they're voluntary and also striated. They're voluntary because when we move our arms, we are voluntarily moving them. And so, for example, skeletal muscles are the muscles such as our bicep muscles, our pectoralis major, and our, and our quadriceps, for example. And so if we zoom into this, skeletal, this particular skeletal muscle, a skeletal muscle cell is cylindrical shape, and, all, and as I mentioned, they're also striated. But another important feature of a skeletal muscle is that it is multinucleated, which means that it consists of multiple, multiple nucleuses. And this is what differs skeletal muscle to, for example, cardiac muscle, and the other one, the smooth muscle. So the second type of muscle I would like to look at is the cardiac muscle, and the cardiac muscle essentially implies the heart because cardiac implies heart and so we're looking at the heart muscles such as this area here cardiac muscles are amazing because they keep contracting until the day we die to pump blood around our body cardiac muscles are involuntary meaning that we have no conscious over it and so that is why we have no conscious over our beating heart and cardiac muscles are also actually striated like skeletal muscles so if we zoom into the cardiac muscles in this heart, for example, we can see a few cardiac muscle cells here. Cardiac muscle cells are either uninucleated or binucleated in that they have one or two nucleuses per cell. And each muscle cell are separated by what's called intercalated discs, which help combine each cardiac muscle cell, as well as assisting in transmitting nerve impulses throughout the heart during contraction. The last type of muscle we're going to look at is the smooth muscles. And smooth muscles are found in the stomach and in, in the intestines, essentially the gastrointestinal tract, or GIT. And they usually wrap around each of these organs to assist in the movement of food down the gastrointestinal tract, from our mouth to our anus, essentially. And uh, this movement of food down this gastrointestinal tract is known as peristalsis, and this is assisted by the smooth muscle cells. And so as expected, smooth muscle cells are involuntary in that we have no conscious control over it. And what differs smooth muscle cells to cardiac and skeletal muscle is that they are unstriated. They contain no striations whatsoever. And so if we zoom into this part of the stomach, duodenum, part of the small intestines, we can look at the smooth muscles, and you can see that they are un striated. They contain no striations. And each cell is also uninucleated in that it contains only one nucleus. And so for example, this smooth, this group of smooth muscle cells, they are in a relaxed position. And when they contract, what essentially happens is that they squeeze together. And when they squeeze together, this is what allows the movement of food down our gastrointestinal tract. And so that was a brief overview about three types of muscles and the muscular system please click on the skeletal muscle link or the smooth muscle link to learn more about these muscles. The cardiac muscle link will not be available because we will learn about the cardiac muscle in the cardiovascular system because the cardiac muscle has an important role in pumping blood all throughout our body. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you all.